Glory to Jesus Christ. And to ages of ages, amen. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Brothers and sisters, today again we have a feast of the Most Holy Virgin Theotokos. And all the generations of those who are spiritually alive call her blessed, but those who are spiritually dead do not. For all generations she said so call me blessed. But today is the nativity of the Virgin. And as we watch St. Joachim and Anna finding to their joy that they were expecting a child at last, we have to say that in the womb of the prophetess Anna, there was being constructed a new ark as Moses in the wilderness constructed the ark of the covenant. So today, the ark of the new covenant is constructed in the womb of the prophetess Anna. And we shall see her come forth and grow to maturity in the temple, ever serving the Lord from the beginning of her life, being fully willing to receive the Lord, being willing to undergo the thoughts of people around her who would shame her, thinking that, not understanding that she was giving birth to the incarnation of the living God. For what would be contained in her womb, but what was contained in the Ark of the Old Covenant, the rod that budded like a living tree, the tables of the law and the manna, that heavenly bread that came down from God. Now in her womb there will also take form as the Ark of the New Covenant, the fulfillment of the prophecies of the things which are in the Old Ark, the Ark of the Old Covenant. The bread that came down from heaven, the living bread, the bread of heaven that would give life to mankind, even our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the bread that we will receive in Holy Communion from the Chasha today, the rod that budded like a living tree, for Jesus Christ was called the Nazara, the, the root rod of the root of Jesse. And the one who gave the law has come today to fulfill all the law, so that all things on the cross should be fulfilled and we should be under grace, under the promise, and not under law. So that we should be not only children of Abraham, but as Apostle Paul says to the Galatians, that we should be the sons and daughters of the living God, that he should adopt us as his own, but today, the ever virgin one gives, is, is, born, is born by a miracle of God's grace to the aged prophets, Joachim and Anna. Today, the Ark of the New Covenant is being built cell by cell in the womb of the holy prophetess Anna. The one who would be obedient to God in all things and believe against unbelief, things that were far too great and too high to simply believe, to become the servant of God as no other person ever became the servant of God, to be a participant in the unfolding of our salvation by being the source of the incarnation. Who so foolish as to think that the Virgin Mary was not a participant in the very act of our salvation by giving birth to our Savior. That she's the mother of God, the Theotokos, because she served for the incarnation of the living God, she gave birth to God in the flesh, and therefore she's the mother of God, the Theotokos, the bearer of God. Let us join with the angelic host and with all the faithful and the saints of all ages and cry out to her, Blessed art thou, blessed among women, blessed among human beings. Blessed is the one who cometh in the name of the Lord. Let us be among the generations of the living who call her blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm.